Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here, thanks for watching. So a big part of the hobby lately has become taking photos of our fish. Whether you're a YouTuber and you want to use a photo for a thumbnail, uh, Facebook you may want to enter a photo contest, or simply just sharing photos on Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. I've seen a lot of people ask for tips or tricks to take uh, better photos, and um, I haven't had any tips to give. So I reached out to my friend Frankie Kenneth, aka The Cichlid Soldier, I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Um, he's a cichlid enthusiast like the rest of us are, but he's also a photography hobbyist and he takes great photos not just of his fish, but also of landscapes and any number of other things if you follow him on Facebook. Um, so he sent me a few photos to, to kind of show, which I'll show in just a second here, uh, see what you guys think of those. But then also he filmed a nice clip for us as far as uh, tips that he uses to take great pictures of his fish. So let's see what he's got to say. What's going on YouTube? Frankie Kenneth, the Cichlid Soldier here. Shout out to Mr. Adam C. D-O-G. He with the balls and better hat tank. Thank you very much for giving me this spot. Now Adam wants me to cover some photography tips. Uh, how to photograph fish in your aquarium. Now I'm not going to get into complicated techniques. I'm going to keep it simple. Something that anyone with any camera, phone, experience level can use. So let's go. Tip number one. Shoot in a dark room. Now when you're taking pictures you don't want lighting inside of your room. You don't want glare to hit the glass. You want to make sure that you're able to see the fish through the glass without anything flashing back at you. Now another advantage of shooting in a dark room is fish won't probably see you as well and, uh, and they'll behave better. You'll notice that uh, these African cichlids whenever you get close to the tank they're gonna jet to you so you don't want them to know that you're there. So that's my tip number one. Shoot in a dark room. Limit the lighting outside of the tank. Tip number two now this one kind of goes together with tip number one and it's uh, and it's kind of a little trick I learned from uh, my boy Freddie Castro Mac Aquatics look him up but he um, he shoots his videos early in the morning right when the fish are waking up so I kind of use that technique to take photographs if you notice the fish right now I've recently turned on the lights they still kind of dazed and if you notice they are behaving better they're not jetting around trying to find if you're going to feed them or not they're just chilling and when they're chilling like this you see them they're nice and flared up they're easier to photograph some of my best photographs will come taking fish like right early in the morning when they're waking up look at them the colors seem to pop and again they just behave better they just chill and relaxed they're not all uh, skittish and hungry so that's my tip number two tip number three it could be tip number one to be honest anything with photography top key ingredient is proper lighting Photography, by definition itself, is the capture of light. So, check your lighting, depending on the mood you want. You want a darker image, lighter image. Some uh, lighting settings let you control the color of the light. More blue, more red. Certain settings make colors. Uh, different colors in your fish pop differently. So, play around with the settings in your lights, the, the intensity of the light. And, uh, and see what the results are, you know, depending on what you want to do. I've seen some really, really nice images with low lighting. Um, those are harder to get, but uh, they're, they're just as impressive. So uh, that's tip number three, lighting. Play with your lighting. 
And now for a little bonus tip before I turn it back to Adam. Look, bottom line is take a lot of photos. I'm talking about just click, 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 click. Just keep taking a lot of photos. You, you know, most of the great photographs you see from people um, are just the results. They don't, they don't show you how they got there. You know, they just show you that one nice image, but they probably took a hundred. Look, I do it. Everyone else do, does it. So that's a little bonus tip. Just take a lot of photographs and then pick the best. Okay. But there you have it, folks. Just a couple of quick tips that anyone can follow on how to get the best photography of your aquarium and you're ready to get out there and practice 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 thanks again to mister Adam C shout out to you thanks for this spot now back at ya good day so everyone there's some simple tips for you and the best part about those tips I think is that you don't need a you know two thousand dollar camera or anything to take photos like that um, I certainly appreciate Frankie coming on. Again, go check him out, sub him up if you like what you see. He also mentioned Mac, who has a YouTube channel of his own with another great tank. I'll put a link to him as well in uh, the description of this video. I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, please like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. And see you next time.